In this video, we're going to see how to export our athlete's history, which would be all the training data they've been doing over time. To do that, the first thing we have to do is go to the Progress tab and select the athletes whose data we want to export. In this case, we want to export the data for these three athletes. We hit Continue, and now we select the exercise we want to export. We know we have data in bench press. If we want to exp export other exercises, then we would have to repeat this process for each exercise. So I'm going to select bench press, and we're going to click here. And when we click, as I said, it's going to export, in this case, from th these three athletes, the bench press exercise. I'm going to export to Excel because it's the easiest for me, and I'm going to export, for example, the last month, this is the last day, the last week, the last month, and the last year. I'm going to export the last month. What we have to do is wait for it to convert. And here we have the file we just sent from our tablet or device to our computer. As we can see, it's called BP because ben it's the Ben's Press ex exercise we just exported and the data on which we exported it. It's an Excel type file. We open it and it will open with our default program, whether that be Numbers, Excel, or whichever. And here we have our three athletes. Okay, if we wanted another exercise, for example, I don't know, deadlift, then we would have to do the same, the same thing, go back to the app, select the athletes we want to export, select the exercise, and export it. And here the interpretation of the data is very simple. First, we have the date from the oldest up top to the most recent at the bottom. For this athlete in particular, we have, for example, with 150 pounds, he did four reps. With 200 pounds, he did three reps. Type C is concentric. If we had activated the eccentric, we would see each rep of type C and each rep of type E. Then the mean propulsive velocity, peak velocity, and here we have a set of variables we only have when we export the data, which the app doesn't give us. Like, for example, mean acceleration, peak acceleration. We have ROM, which is shown in the app. We have peak strength, peak power, and here the 1RM, which in whatever units we have the app configured to, which in this case is pounds, but if you had it set to kilograms, then it would appear in kilograms and centimeters, etc. And that's it. It's that simple. Here we have the other athlete, and like I said, to recover this file, it would send send it through iDrop, or you could send it through email and download it, or really however you want.